decide that you like collecting data in Google Sheets, but you'd prefer to display it in Excel because of differing visualization capabilities. And if that's the case, getting your data from Google Sheets into Excel automatically is pretty easy. So I'm going to open up Excel down here. Go to the Home tab. This is what you'll see. And if you click on Data, you're going to be able to get data from somewhere. If I click on Get Data, we can get it from a file, like another Excel workbook, from a database, from various platforms. One of the places that we can get it from is from the web, as you can see on this button up here, which is also available when you go to From Other Sources from web. And because Google Sheets is actually a website or a URL, we want the data from web. Click on that, and a box will pop up like this. And now we need to go into Google Sheets and do a couple of things, and then paste the URL in here. So let's go into Google Sheets and just make sure a couple of settings are okay. The first is Excel is not going to have permission to talk with this data unless we share it or make it available to Excel. So I'm going to click on the share button here. And notice that right now this link is restricted. Only people added can open up this file or can look at this data with this link. What we need to do here is we need to change this so that anyone with this link, including Excel, can view it. And that's what we just did. So now anyone with the link can view the data. After that, we'll copy the link, which you can do by clicking on the copy link button or highlighting the whole thing and clicking or holding down control and clicking C or right click copy. And then let's go back into Excel and paste the URL from our spreadsheet that we just copied right in here. Now we're almost there. There's just a couple things in this URL that we have to change. The first is this edit right here. Because we're not editing the file, we are exporting the file into Excel, or and then importing into Excel, we need to change edit to export. And the next thing we need to change is USP equals sharing is the format that the file is in. We need to change this to format equals XLSX, which is the nomenclature that goes on the end of your Excel files. Once we do those two things, changing edit to export and format, or the USP equals sharing to format equals XLSX, and we click OK, because our data is publicly available, Excel will now be able to accept it. And this box will pop up here, and it's going and retrieving our, our information, trying to figure out what's going on. And now that the information has popped up, we see all of our tabs on our Google Sheets. We have our chart data, which has nothing in it currently. We have our daily monitoring form, which collects our responses and is information from our other tables. And we have our other files in here. But from a data perspective, we just want the daily monitoring form. And we have a couple of options with this. We can transform the data prior to it going into Excel, which is beyond the scope of this. All we need to do is load the data in for our purposes. So let's do that. And once that's done, we're going to see our data show up right here in this sheet. And we will have set up a connection from Excel to our Google Sheets, whereby Excel is extracting the data from those sheets and putting it into Excel. And now we see our data and it says how many rows that we have. Let me get out of there. And our data is now in Excel and we can use it. And it automatically creates a table for us, although we can decide what is created from our data. And you'll notice just because of what I've done in Google Sheets, if I scroll down here, there are going to be a lot of blank rows. And that's okay for our purposes for now. But let's check out what's happening with this data set. So if we click anywhere in here and we go to properties, we'll notice that there are some options here. For example, preserve column, sort, filter, layout from Google Sheets, preserve the cell formatting, adjust the column widths, and we have and we have some other options in here. And you may consider looking through these 
to make it best suit your needs. And another thing that we're going to do is if we go to data and we go to our existing connections, this is now a connection. Google Sheets to Excel is now a connection that we've made. If we go to our existing connections, we will see it here. And if we click on this here, again, we're going to be able to decide how we want to create this connect, uh, how we want to create this connection. But we don't have to worry about any of this stuff. What I want to point you towards is the properties where we can determine how frequently or when the data gets refreshed from Google Sheets. Right now, right now we have checked enable background refresh, which just means that we enable refreshing. And then we also have refresh this data connection on refresh all, which if we click click the refresh all button, the data will be refreshed. We can also have it refresh data when we, each time we open this Excel file, it'll refresh and re, it'll get the, inform, the updated information from Google Sheets. Or we could also have it refresh automatically every 60 minutes or every, every one minute or however frequently we want to. I'm, I'm going to turn that option off for now. And we have the refresh data when opening the file and we have it refresh this connection when we decide to refresh all. I'm going to click OK, cancel this, and when I go back into Google Sheets, I'm going to add some data in here. Let's go to the bottom. I'm going to add something in here and we'll see whether or not it works. We go back to my Google Sheets where we copied our link from. And let's go to our data set. Remember, we're pulling in the daily monitoring form. I'll go to the bottom and maybe I'll write hello world. I'll say hello world again. And I'll say goodbye world. And goodbye world again. So we have four new rows. And if we go back into Excel, nothing shows up as we would expect. But if we click on this refresh all button, which is refreshing our data source. After a couple seconds, we get our new data. And if we have visualizations driven off of this, then this will be incorporated within them. And if we made a mistake in Google Sheets, like I did here, we can go back into Google Sheets and say, you know what? Never mind. I don't want any of this stuff. Go back into our Excel file and go refresh all. And once we've done that, you see it's loading down here. And once it's complete, the information is gone. So that's how you get data from Google Sheets into Excel. And if you prefer to have your visualizations in Excel, it's quite an easy process to get that done.